Morant through. Hooks it up and in on the second chance opportunity. Like most good pros, when you have a bad game, you got to be ready if you're the next opponent. You got to be ready for that player to come out and try to get himself right early. Murray had a career year a year ago. And also a good playoff series against the San Antonio Spurs. He fades, fires, and fills it up again. Jamal Murray is getting executing extremely well. What you saw there, the dribble handoff, that is something that Denver relies on very heavily. More often than not, it's Gary Harris in a dribble handoff, but they're a miss by Murray, and Morant and Grizz is back. Down two, courtesy of the Crowder three. Grizzlies mismatch here, out of the double, extra pass, Crowder. Morant with a drive off glass, and he drew a foul. Has been as much of a bellwether for Denver as Dylan Brooks has been for the Grizzlies. Harris shoots 45% in wins and 28% in losses around and off. So you come out this year right from the get-go wanting to set a tone for this Denver Nuggets team, especially with his three-point shooting this year. And he said, well, he's been injured the last couple of seasons. He wanted to come out and he wants to be the guy to set. They know they have Jokic and players, but he feels though he's been around long enough that the guys will listen and respond to him. Millsap is sixth in the league, shooting 50% from distance. Valanchunas for three. Bango! <laughs> Valanchunas, little three-point celebration. You got a little wave to the crowd after that three-point shot. Murray tries to respond. Can't rebound Valanchunas. Brooks with a speed dribble. Jonas again. Good again! I was, uh, it was an emotional night for everybody in the building, and particularly for us, who have been uh, so close to Mike throughout the years. You and me and Rob Fisher as Valanciunas throws it down. We go in for a second action. Taylor said before the game tonight, we can't ease into the pace like we did against Utah. We've got to force it right from the get-go. And Valanciunas with a rebound. That was a point of the pre-game media availability for Taylor Jenkins. He said, you know, sometimes we just try to ease into the game. We can't ease into the game. Moran for three, it's through! Holy cow, the Grizzlies! I'm gonna shoot this three. Such a skilled player, but you're right. The Grizz, the rebound, the defensive intensity picked up after that first time out. And Jokic calls for the foul. And Jokic is gonna come out, takes middle. Euro step, no finish, followed by Clark, no. Rebound filters out to Guterich. Kyle trying to create space. Valanchunas reels it in. Shot clock down to five. Ball didn't hit the rim. Jonas got to go. Sends it. Can't score it. Rebound Plumley. That's four on the offensive end in that first quarter. Did a great job on that end. The one thing they're going to have to get under control is when Jamal Murray comes back in. Nice move with Valanchunas. He also had a big quarter. But the Nuggets beat. Starts the second quarter on the bench. His 16 in the period. Ties Jokic for the most points by a Nugget player in a quarter this season. Grizzlies with Valanciunas, Morant, Anderson, Guterich, and Solomon Hill, the hero, getting the big stop against the Utah Jazz. Morant against Aaron and Gomez. Shovels it out. Solomon Hill. Valanciunas has had his own way. Goes to work with seven to shoot. Plumley goes down on a dive. And Valanciunas. Nuggets defense that they took a part in that first quarter. Denver sixth in defensive efficiency. Valanciunas, how about another three? That was a little bit flatter. Point six rebounds in a single quarter. Well, that was Jonas Valanciunas back on March 30th at Phoenix. Last Grizzly with 12 and six in the first quarter. Marcus Gasol back on January 28th against this Nuggets team. Aaron and Gomez, the lineups Grizzlies with Valanciunas, Dylan Brooks back in, Moran Anderson and Hill. Plumley, Grant, Morris, Aaron and Gomez, and Porter. Oh, well, Jonas tried behind uh, the head pass, and that didn't work too well. Monte Morris finishes. Talk about this guy with the ball right here. Highest assist to turnover ratio in the NBA. And with a lot of the dribble handoffs that they had, don't put themselves in positions to create a lot of turnovers. And last year, he was second in assist to turnover ratio to Tyus Jones. Valanchunas assessing That's options. Fine. Dylan Brooks will go to the free throw line. Knocked away by Plumley. That activity by Plumley making a difference there. Four gone by second quarter, all square at 38. Hernan Gomez and a blocking foul called Murray. So another basket. They want to get closer 
to win the championship. And, and like all teams know, your window starts to close at some point in time. And Valanciunas turns it over. Barton on a slalom, stripped by Crowder. And Barton was in the Lakers in the Western Conference standings. Lakers coming into today 10 and 2, Houston 10 and 3. Upset win in Sacramento. The Kings beating the Boston Celtics. Curry with a big game overall, 29 for him. And the thing about this team is they're fine with whoever has it rolling just to continue to let that person roll is a knock away there by Murray after Valentino has missed the short one. A lot of deflections for Denver. And they are not highly rated in that category, but boy, they have been so active defensively and a defensive three second call for your next game. And now this, this second half is all about getting ready to play Tuesday night. Against the Golden State Warriors, who are in New Orleans at the moment. And uh, right now, Pelicans a 21-17 lead late first quarter. And Murray comes up with a loose ball. Murray. Good contest by Dillon. Jaren has been hot from three. Good again. Third triple.